You know what's better than a saxophone? Having a saxophone and also a fan, and that's a matter of fact. I'm just gonna put my saxophone through some effects and see what what looks cool, what sounds cool. So I'm gonna be playing this sample from a song you may know. <laughs> And I'm gonna put it through different effects, like Redux. So what a Redux effect does is it splits the audio file into tiny, tiny samples. And then it decides how many of those samples it wants you to hear. So it, it's, it's kind of like the resolution of a picture. So the more samples you have, the more quality you have. Because if you start taking away samples, for example, if you set the down sample setting to two, you get half the samples. That doesn't mean that audio will be twice as fast. It just means the quality will be halved, but it still gets you a cool, like nostalgic effect, sort of like New World by Porter Robinson. Also, the bit reduction setting, I've tried to look it up on uh, Wikipedia. The, the description I found on the program I'm using isn't really nice. It just says it manipulates the resolution of the amplitude. And what I think that means is that the peaks of the wave get compressed. And I'm not really sure, like I'm pretty sure it has to do with the way audio is stored because it, it talks about bit reduction. The effect I got was just a huge compression and often I got clipping. The word clipping describes a sample that is so loud that it gets distorted. The peaks of the waves get over the limit of what a microphone can hear or what a speaker can produce and they get literally cut off and they look like they're clipped this is what clipped waves look like <laughs> Something else I'm gonna do is put it through a fan. That's cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna try this for the first time right now. It's so quiet. <laughs> I'm gonna try recording the fan now because in my in my head the, the sound is bouncing back so that might be better and that's a little, a little bit noisier <laughs>
That's it. Interesting.